I'm going to change the way I'm looking at things with my camera. So I'll just go over here to Active Camera, and now I'm going to choose Perspective. And you'll see here immediately that I see my camera and what it's looking at. And as I click here on my Transform Tools, the ones that are in my canvas, and I start to rotate, you can see in the inset view what the camera is looking at. Okay. Now the best way to really get a sense of what's going on here is to go back to the inspector and to make sure that you have the properties tab open because then as you start to rotate things you can see what's happening. As I move this here you'll see that I am right now rotating on the Y axis, okay, on the X axis, making some slight change here to the Z axis and then over here on the Z axis. Okay, so those are your basic controls in terms of what you're doing. And I can, of course, use Command-Z to undo what I did, and that's my camera looking at that stuff. Now, a couple of other things. Let's take a look at these tools right now in the perspective view. As I look at my 3D view tools, as I start to move around here, and I click and I drag, all I'm really doing is changing the view of how I'm looking at my camera. I'm not physically moving anything, I'm just taking a look at it in a different place for my own viewpoint. And right now I'm moving the pan tool, I've got the rotate tool, it's just rotating how I'm looking at something. And you'll see in the bottom left over here that the compass is changing as I do that. So when you actually are moving this around, it's just showing you a different view in terms of how the camera is looking at stuff. And then I also have, that was my orbit tool here, and then here's my dolly tool as I'm seeing the difference here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this with the compass. If I go over here and take a look at everything from the top, I'm now looking down on my scene and I can see my first set over here. Okay. And if I click and drag and physically move the camera, I am in fact changing what we're going to be seeing in our animation. Okay. So I'm physically moving it here, again up here, as I move it, I'm just changing the viewpoint at which I'm looking at it with. Okay, so it's not going to actually be, um, there's going to be no change in terms of what I'm seeing in my project as I'm doing this. Again, it's just a viewpoint. Now, if I change this to active camera, you'll see that up here I get my scene camera icon that shows up. And now when I use these tools, I am physically changing because I'm actually moving the camera, what I'm going to be seeing inside of my scene. So there is a difference there. This is a real key concept to understand that when you see this icon over here, that you are physically changing what you're seeing over time, whereas when I go to a different view, again, maybe a front view here, then all I'm doing is just changing the position at which I'm looking at everything. Okay, So it's just my viewpoint is changing. Okay.